Well, I gave a, a broad overview of how cells in our body respond to DNA damage. DNA damage is going on in our bodies all the time, in addition to being caused by uh, ultraviolet light, chemicals, radiation, and whatever. And it turns out that in our cells there are, there are special mechanisms to repair the damage and put it back together again, which is good. Sometimes it goes wrong, and that gives rise to cancer. So understanding these events helps us explain how cancers occur, but it also provides opportunities for coming up with new therapies for cancer. So we know now that, that certain cancers actually have defects in certain ways of repairing DNA damage. That means they're more vulnerable to certain DNA damaging agents, such as chemotherapy and radiotherapy. But what we found is that that makes them very, very dependent on another DNA repair pathway. So certain cancers lack one repair pathway, it makes them very dependent on the other. And a few years ago, on, based on that concept, I founded a biotech company out of my academic work, which has basically developed drugs targeting the other pathway. And what we find, it's very exciting, is that those drugs do not affect normal cells very, very much, but are very toxic against certain hereditary breast and ovarian cancer patients, uh, cancers, uh, which have defects in the genes called BRCA1 and BRCA2. This work so far, which was carried out by the company Qdos that I founded, and, and latterly AstraZeneca, which, which, which acquired Qdos, is targeting a, a repair enzyme called PARP, and the compound we developed called Alaparib is now in late stage clinical trials, very exciting data. But we believe that's just the tip of the iceberg, that, that that's established one concept, uh, a concept for attacking, attacking certain classes of uh, cancer, but we know there are other classes of cancer that might be targeted by inhibiting another DNA repair pathway. And just to summarize, we've recently discovered in, in my academic group in Cambridge University uh, an, another enzyme which plays a key role in a certain DNA repair pathway, and we believe that by drugging that, developing drugs against that enzyme, we'll be able to target a different set of cancers than are currently being treated by PARP inhibitors. It'll be a range of cancers. Um, the, the issue is that, that, that traditionally um, treatments have been based around if you've got breast cancer you'll get one treatment, if you've got brain cancer you'll get another treatment. But it's clear that when you look inside a certain category of cancers there are different molecular readouts. So maybe 10, 20, 30 percent of cancers, breast cancers, will be treatable by um, uh, agents that are being developed now. We believe that maybe 10, 20 percent Another 10 to 20% of breast cancers will be targeted by a new enzyme. And we'll see, hopefully, very similar things in other kinds of cancers, pancreatic cancer, lung cancer. It's still early, too early to know what percentages and precisely which cancers, but I think there, there is quite a big potential there. Well, of course, it'd be nice uh, to develop a new drug tomorrow, but unfortunately that doesn't isn't really the way things are. Things take a little bit longer than that. Um, but the technologies have developed a lot over, over recent years, so drug discovery, drug development, and evaluation are much more effective than they used to be. So I'm sort of at the moment thinking that five to ten years, hopefully closer to five years, five, six, seven, we could be in a position where there might be new uh, uh, drugs entering the, the market that cancer patients and their doctors will be very excited to see. So I gave a talk this morning uh, focused on, on, on this work I've just talked to you about, but this afternoon I'm chairing another session uh, where I've been ma managed to pull in um, three uh, very highly respected international scientists uh, from Europe um, and from the UK who are going to talk about n additional ways of targeting DNA repair pathways to try and come up with yet further ways of treating cancer, but also use markers of DNA damage as better diagnostic treatments, uh, sorry, diagnostic uh, factors to earlier, hopefully early diagnose, earlier diagnose cancers and maybe um, identify which cancers are going to respond best to which type of treatment.